The Google Drive desktop app helps you sync a set of folders between your personal computer and Google's cloud servers. If you've ever used Dropbox, it functions in much the same way, so that if you're using a program like Microsoft Word or Windows Movie Maker, you can save directly to your Google Drive folder. Here's how to install it. Click on the Gears button and choose Download Drive. When you come to the Google Drive page, download Drive for your computer, PC, Mac, Android, or iOS devices. Accept the terms of use and install the program. It will take a few seconds to download. Once it does, open it. and install the program. I'm going to give it permission to run the installation. Once the installation is complete, a welcome screen will appear. Click on Get Started. It's important to think about which account you want to sign into Google Drive with. If you're using this for work, you should sign in with your Google Apps for Education account. That's what I'll do now. You can only sign in to the Google Drive desktop app with one account at a time. Complete the single sign-on using your appropriate domain. Google Drive will show you where your files will be synced to. Click Next. You can certainly download the apps for iOS or Android. And notice that you've got Google Drive options using your right-click contextual menu. It'll take a few moments, but Google Drive should start populating this folder with the most recent files and folders from your Google Drive. You can see whether it's progressing by looking at the Google Drive app on your taskbar. I can see the color changing here so that I know that the Google Drive app is working. It's important to realize that not all of your documents are saved using the Google Drive app. While it works for office documents, movie files, sound files, you still need to enable offline access for your other files. Click on the gears and go to your settings, then choose the tick box beside offline. Once you're finished, click done. This will ensure that you'll have offline access to the Google Docs stored with your Google Apps for Education account. As you can see, my Google Drive list is starting to populate. The nice thing is, I can now save any of my files directly to my Google Drive folder. So this Word document can be saved directly to Google Drive. I'll click on the Save button, and notice that Google Drive has already been added to my favorites. I'll give it a file name, and click Save. Now, if I switch back to my Google Drive account and look at my recent files, I should see my Word document appear very shortly. Although, it might take a while since I've got 5,000 files to sync.
I'm going to leave that for now. I'm guessing most of you won't have the same number of files and I will trust that it will work properly for you.